Saturday it is and here we are 11.30 on the dots. Life Digest is the show you're watching and I'm Madrin Mwanguzi. I'm always excited to have you on board. That's why I always ask you to click that notification bell in case you've already subscribed so that you get notifications of every new video that comes up. We are halfway if not almost done with quarter two. Can you imagine? The year is running. But here's something really interesting that I want to talk about today. How to deal with feeling behind in life. This is something that hit me some time back. I have people around me who keep feeling the same way. And if you are feeling the same way, I got something that worked for me that I would like to share. I don't know, but I pray it works for you. And in, in case it doesn't, and you have ever survived or you're having something working out for you, share with us in the comment section and let us help each other grow in this dimension. Some of the things that people struggle with in life are developmental issues or physical issues like oh my god i went to school with this guy and he has built i haven't yet well it is okay if you see it as you know a, a way to improve yourself or to make yourself work towards them but there are times when it dawns on you real hard and it kind of makes you feel like you are a failure in life i mean everyone around me is getting married what's wrong with me or oh, um, I should have a car by now. You know, those things. Or maybe, um, why is, am I struggling? Why do I feel like I'm not shifting? That is, it's, it's traumatizing. Every time I think about it, it reminds me of those times when I used to ask myself questions like that. But for me, for my case, if I'm to be frank with you, the thing I really struggled with was why aren't I making it in life? everyone around me seems to be fine with their lives financially like they have an investment somewhere why am i still relying on a salary why don't i have a plan b why don't I have any other source of income it was really really tough and for some reasons i allowed it to kill me so bad that i wasn't helping myself grow in the process but i was helping myself mourn further in the process now if you are facing the same thing this is it number one everybody's life is different like seriously some people are born lucky now you need to put that into consideration some people come from wealthy families and they're going to help them up the ladders some people may not come from wealthy families but like i said everybody's life is different what may happen to somebody else's life may not necessarily happen to you because everyone's life was structured in a different way according to he who is above God already says we determine we plan for our lives what we want to do but he determines the steps one thing i appreciated when i was in that process was the fact that sometimes the people i look at may be struggling with something else and sprouting in something else which i am only focusing at there are other small things they're struggling with and probably i am actually sprouting in something else but struggling in some area but i'm fronting one thing at a time and shielding it's more like blocking every other thing that i have achieved that i am feeling down or failed completely but the moment i learned that yes I may not be there yet, but I can still be there. First and foremost, I stopped mourning. I stopped like putting it up to myself all the time, like feeling like I haven't done enough, you know, that kind of feeling. It starts within. That's the honest truth. And it started within for me. And if you are in such a situation and you want to change, you want to see different things differently, let it start from within you. Like tell yourself that yes, uh, let's say Moses, let's say Winnie, let's say whoever it could be. Tell yourself, this is what I'm facing. This is the reality. Have I done anything differently to make it better? Yes. Has it failed? Yes, for now. But trust the process and trust the timing. God knows better. Along the way, there are lessons we learn that are going to help us in future. I learned patience when I was in that place. I was so impatient. Oh my God. I, I think... I, I I was going to say I am the most impatient person, but then I realized I have grown a little bit of patience, but I was the most impatient person I know. I wanted things to be done there and then and stuff like that. I learned patience and this patience along the way helped me in some area that eventually helped me yield better in the areas I was actually mourning about. So it's about you trusting the process, learning from the process and trusting the timing and being comfortable wherever you are. It works like magic, it works for me, it will work for you. Stop comparing yourselves. 
yes you know life i don't know where this concept of comparing came from but i mean now that it's here we can't do anything about it social media has even boosted it much more every now and then we compare ourselves to different people for different reasons it's okay to see somebody else and know that oh they have made it in this way but it's not okay for you to think just like they have made it you're supposed to make it at the same rate at the same time or in the same field that they have made it now that is wrong comparing yourself makes you unfocused because just think about it the time you spend looking east south center north all around what if you gathered all that time and put it in one place probably it would lead you to a better place because that's all energy you're using to look at other people divert that energy to focus on you it works it works like magic comparison is good if it's for learning like it's 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 okay if you're looking i don't think it's actually good it's more like just look at someone see them and appreciate don't compare yourself you're two totally different people i can never be you you can never be me so if you want to overcome the feeling of you are behind in life first and foremost put off even social media if it needs to be people are faking life like for real people will post things that they want you to see or lives that they want you to believe but when you meet them one on one you'll be surprised i remember there was a time I met this girl, she was online, she was ever, those days when I was still doing TV, she was ever like lead and dressed up and all those things. So I thought she had some money. We go somewhere, she couldn't even pay for her bills. You get. And in my mind I was thinking, what? I mean, what's going on? But then when I grew up, I realized that social media portrays something different. And if we continue comparing ourselves in those directions, it's going to be draining. So stop comparing yourself on social media, off social media, cut your ears from everything that brings comparison into you, that makes you feel inadequate, that makes you feel down, and then open your eyes and ears to things that keep you on track and help you get better. And the final one, and yet the most important one, pray, trust, obey. It's my life, I am sure, but I am what I am because of God. I make sure I give him my first everything, first fruit, first time when I wake up in the day because I know without him, I wouldn't be where I am today. Like the Bible puts it, God knows our life. Like he knew our lives before we were even created. There's some things we can't control. We can't control the families we were born into. We can't control um, the people we are, but we can control, we can't control where we were born, but we can control where we end up you get but in the process you need to trust the person who invented or who constructed that whole process and that's good so every time i think about yeah my life is like this would i like it to be better yes have i done everything i need to do yes has it not worked yes so what am i left with god i just leave it to him i pray trust and obey his process his timing is usually the best because at the end of the day when all is said and done it is him who decides when to die when to do this have you ever seen somebody who seems like their life is lit and then recently like a couple of months ago we lost the president of i mean one of the countries in east africa he was the president he had everything he had now would you swap your unhappy life with his death when you look at it you're like oh why hmm? i'm at least i'm alive so there is something that you should be grateful for. So when you focus on God and pray, he will open your eyes and help you see at least the good you have acquired so far. Because one of the other things that hinders you from seeing the best is you are always focusing on the negative one. But when you focus on God, he's going to help you be able to see the good things that have already happened to you. And once you see them, they'll give you a reason to trust, obey and live happier. As much as I am strongly emphasizing this to the people who feel like they are alive by failure or they should be somewhere, um, I also have a piece of advice to people who have such people in their lives. If you feel like you have made it and there is someone who is struggling, here's the thing, stop being a perfectionist. Hmm? Don't make them worse than they already feel. Don't point out the things they're struggling over and over again, unless you're giving them a solution. But if you're criticizing them, it's not going to be helpful. These people are already broken than they already seem, you get. Just think about it. If you have been in that place, I'm sure you can relate. But if you've never been in that place, now let me tell you the exact truth. It feels bad. It is traumatizing. It has psychological torture attached to it. You don't want to break them further. 
either make them but do not break them so for people who are already after that stage who have already recovered from that stage be grateful to god but help someone by encouraging them these words of encouragement are like food to the soul they will keep them going share your testimonies share how you made it and then for those who are still struggling whose measuring stick are you using please it is god who says stop comparing stop being like i can't say stop being frustrated because that's not something you just decide and be like i'm not gonna be frustrated but trust the process don't compare pray obey everything will be perfect and here at life digest we focus on progress non perfection that's why we allow everyone to grow at their pace but also encourage each other to share each other with each other what helped them pass through different challenges of life so in case you have any comment about this video of if anything i've said has blessed you let me know in the comment section and if you want to add value to me or knowledge to someone out there let's share our experiences together you never know who you might serve tonight other than that thank you for watching continue subscribing sharing and inviting friends to follow also on our facebook page which is life to just I am Majin Mwangabe. See you.